Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure review. Today, we're going to be looking at the NECA Gargoyles Xanatos Ultimate Action Figure. Now this is Xanatos in his business suit. They already released Xanatos in his Gargoyles armor, but this is the version I wanted the most. This is how he looked. 95% of the show. I pre ordered this thing from the last toy store, and it finally arrived today. So let's take a look at the packaging. As you can see, includes Demona's closed wings. Disney's Gargoyles, Xanatos, Ultimate Action Figure. A lot of people think that these chess pieces are clues to upcoming figures, and they very well might be. We have Macbeth, Coldstone, and then I believe Jason Canmore, the Hunter. One side of the package got Xanatos posed up. Other side, Xanatos with a different head sculpt. On the back, here's Xanatos, a bunch of different accessories, a bunch of different display options, and here's a checklist of all the Gargoyles figures. They are actually all out right now. Ever seen one pictured here? This is one of NECA's ultimate figures, in the box packaging, you can hear the velcro on the inside flap, here's Xanatos posed up, and then here he is with all of his accessories. So with no further ado, let's open him up, and I did end up getting two of these figures, one of which to use as David Xanatos, and I think one, I'm going to do a head swap, and make a custom Bruce Wayne. I'm also going to have the closed wings, I'll give one to Demona, and one to Angela, until they release hers. Alright, now that this figure out of the package, here he is with all the accessories laid out, he comes with four alternate hands, totaling six interchangeable hands, two heads, the Eye of Odin in necklace form. He has a little floppy disk. Then he has a blaster or laser with an attached blast effect, not to mention Demona's closed wings. But before we take a look at those, let's talk about and check out the actual figure. So this is David Xanatos. He's voiced by Jonathan Frakes that plays William T. Riker in Star Trek The Next Generation. And they definitely modeled Xanatos, a little bit after Jonathan Frakes, looks very similar. This is Xanatos in his business suit. This is how he appeared during the majority of the show. I'm a sucker for suited action figures. I'm a sucker for gargoyles. This guy is perfect. So let's take a look. Start with his face here. As you can see, he's got one eyebrow cocked up. A little sort of half smile. He's up to something as David Xanatos almost always was. He has his goatee. Ponytail. Kind of dark skin, I don't know, he was some sort of Greek or something like that. Black shirt, gray jacket, black slacks, belt inside. Looks like double jointed elbows, single jointed knees. Pretty good looking figure. Basic, but that's what he is. Just a guy in a suit, and I love it. And here are both the Xanatos figures, with all their accessories laid out. I'm actually really happy I got two of these guys. First of all, I got them on sale at the last toy store. They had some weird 20% off sale, but it was only for in-stock items. But it worked on a pre-order for him, so whatever. I'm going to use both sets of closed wings. One for Angela until they make hers. We have two necklaces of the Eye of Odin. I can remove the eye from one and have it by himself like in the show. Two floppy disks. Perfect. Two of those laser guns. Perfect. One for Xanatos, one for Demona. And then two suited bodies. One for Xanatos and one is probably going to make a Bruce Wayne custom. So overall, I'm very pleased and happy with the result here. The accessories are phenomenal, especially we're getting two of them. And a closer look at his face and head sculpt, I think it looks excellent. Kind of cartoony, kind of realistic, kind of blended together. He looks like he's up to something. It looks spot on like David Xanatos. And here's the figure broken down as far as he can go, with all of his removable parts detached. Now let's check out his accessories, and let's start off with his hands. So here are his hands. He has a total of six of them, three right hands and three left hands. Here he is with his first pair of hands. These are his fists. And here's his second pair of hands. His right hand is a gripping hand with a trigger finger, and his left hand is pretty much totally open. And his third pair of hands. His right hand is a gripping hand that looks like it could also be a thumbs up. And his left hand is a gripping hand with a very large grip. Not really sure why. Now let's look at his heads. He has a total of two of them. One with a sort of half smile, and the other one a more angry expression. Here he is with his first head. This one has the more normal expression. Eyebrow cocked up, half smile. Typical David Xanatos. And here's his second head. This one has his teeth exposed. Angry expression. I mentioned getting an extra body to use as possibly a Bruce Wayne in civilian attire. Here it is with McFarlane. Ben Affleck unmasked Bruce Wayne head on this body. I need to find a way to get the head to sit a little bit higher so you can see more of the neck. 
but I think it looks pretty good. Now let's look at the floppy disk. Kind of telling the age of the show here. The floppy disk, it's got Xenotosis plans on it. This could be useful also if you're trying to reenact the episode with Coldstone at Lexington. Here's Xenatos holding that floppy disk. Then we have the Eye of Odin. This is one of the magical talismans of the show. We have the Grimora Archimorum, and then we have the Phoenix Gate and the Eye of Odin. Eventually we're going to have all three of those talismans. So, you can see it's got the eye in the middle. It should have some sort of blue gem in the middle or something like that. It's supposed to be a necklace, but they did it really weird. It's very stiff. These go around the back. He gave it to Fox like this. It's turned to a werewolf. And I thought to myself, I have two of these. I'm going to rip the necklace piece off so one's just by itself. That's how it was in most of the show. Then I was like, eh, maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I shouldn't mess it up. But then guess what? Just handling the other one, it broke on its own. So bam, here we go. The eye without necklace form. Now it has the extra sort of loops on it, which is annoying. I could cut them off, but I bet if they make an Archmage in the future, he'll come with a regular eye. And at that point, maybe I can attach it to some sort of chain like this and make an actual functioning necklace. I don't know. We'll see. A lot of options. For now, I'm pleased to have the necklace form and just the regular eye form. Here's Xenatos. Hold it that eye. This is how he would offer it to Fox. Then we have his laser gun. Also the blast effect. Here's the laser gun. It looks exactly the shape as I remember, but I don't really remember it being blue. I kind of remember it being more of a gray color. It's got an area here for him to support the barrel. It's got the trigger. Looks pretty good. A little hole to attach blast effect. Here's Xanatos holding that rifle. Here he is, holding the rifle with two hands. The blast effect hitting the wall. It will be noted, it's kind of hard to put into his hand. You can see how far his trigger finger is stretching to make this work. Here's both the Xanatos and Demona, both holding the rifle. Fits into Demona's hand a little better than Xanatos's. And his final accessory, not even his accessory, but the clothes wings for Demona. Yes, we all know the Gargoyle's wings are a pain in the ass. They're way too big to display them properly. The clothes wings are nice, but still not the ideal wings I want. This set of wings is cool. It has little talons across the part. It's got two pegs to attach into the back of Demona. The back part is separate, so it can wrap around that way. The front part is attached permanently. It's got purple on the inside. Nice sculpting, scaling, texturing detail. Black on the outside. A little bit of sort of blue sort of tint to it. Here's Demona with her full wings. On my Demona. Poor Demona. Her right wing is so loose it just will not stay up. The only way I can make her look halfway decent is to push both the wings down and that doesn't really look right either. And then here's Demona with her closed wings. Looks good. Feels good. Yeah, it's going to hinder some of the shoulder articulation, etc. But at least you can display her without taking her wings off and making her look kind of dumb, and without her taking up 12 or so inches wide. And it's totally the wrong color, but I'm going to display Angela with these closed wings for now. Eventually, I'm sure one figure is going to make a set for Angela, like mother, like daughter. Now they're taking a pretty good look about the figure and his accessories. Now let's check out his height. From bottom to the top of his head, standing at about 6.8 inches tall, which can translate to just over 17 centimeters. Now for his articulation, starting with his head here. He has articulation both at the bottom of the neck and the top of the neck. Can rotate from side to side, can look up and down quite a bit. Tilt his head from one side to the other. Shoulders on a ball joint goes out a little bit less than 90 degrees. Up, down, around, all that good stuff. He's got double jointed elbow done in that sort of ugly neck of style when they do it this way. Separate piece between the bicep area, the forearm, and then you got the elbow can move up halfway there and then move all the way in like this. It has rotation both at the top as well as the bottom. His wrist can rotate and it's going to be hinged. In his waist, he's got a ball joint. Rotate around, forward and back. Interesting, you can see some sort of flesh color in there. Very odd, you would think they would just make that all the same color as his shirt. Torso is one solid piece. Legs, complete of splits, ball joints. The legs can rotate independently of the ball. Go forward about that far. Back, not much. Single joint and knee, about 90 degrees, width, rotation. And then his ankle, forward and back. Rotate, tilt rock, and of course, 
to articulation. Here's a look at Xanatos. He's looking at the steel clamp robot, not fully assembled, covered by tarp, but he knows what it's going to be soon. And Xanatos has his own steel clamp armor to put on as well. And here are all six of his steel clamp robots assembled, lined up. Here are all six of these steel clan robots on top of Castle Wyvern. Here's the steel clan surrounding Goliath. They all deploy their forearm lasers and get ready to shoot Goliath. Goliath puffs up, gets angry, you see his wings expand, he's getting ready to fight. And here comes the rest of the clan to help defend the castle. The gargoyles are tearing up the steel clan robots. You can use the steel clan in both a castle type setting or a city street setting. Here are the gargoyles looking up toward the steel clan. And here's an image of Bronx. He's got the steel clan pinned down and he's ripping off their forearm cannon with his mouth. After the gargoyles make short work of Xanatos' steel clan, Xanatos himself comes out. As far as Goliath knows, it's just another member of the steel clan, but he can see their fighting differences and their color differences. Goliath's clan knows this one is the leader. Here's a look at Xanatos and his steel clan. Goliath has his clan, and now Xanatos has his as well. Here's Xanatos in front of his armored suit, holding the Eye of Odin up to no good. Here's David Xanatos giving the Eye of Odin to Fox, his new girlfriend. After she got the Eye of Odin, it ended up turning her into a werewolf. I think Fox as a werewolf would make a fantastic action figure. Xanatos had to team with Goliath to take her down and tame her. Here's David Xanatos with his wife Fox and their son Alexander. Now let's check them out. Next is with their action figures, starting off with some of their Gargoyles figures. Here's David Xanatos in his business suit. That's my preferred version. Next to David Xanatos in his Gargoyles armor. It's cool to have both of them. But now that we have this Xanatos, I really need an Owen. I really want a fox in civilian attire. And I've already got a good baby that'll work for Alexander. Although I wouldn't be surprised if we eventually get one in this line. Really cool stuff. But I really need an Owen to go with the Xanatos. Here's Xanatos next to Elisa Maza, the most recent Gargoyle figure they made. Another human character, both essential members of the core cast. Here he is, next to Angela, another recent Gargoyle release. And here he is, next to a Steel Clan robot. This is the release before Angela. This is one of Xanatos' creations. I did get six of those Steel Clan robots, because he had a bunch of them in the show, and army building is my specialty. And before Angela, they released Brooklyn and Broadway, two more members of the Manhattan Clan. And before those two, they released the video game version of Goliath, Sega Genesis repaint. Here's Xenatos, next to Demona and Thalog. A couple more villains. Thalog is yet another one of Xanatos' creations. There have been so many. Here he is, next to Hudson and Bronx. And here is Xenatos, next to Goliath, the figure that started it all, the main character in the entire show. David and Goliath, the biblical reference is obvious. Here's the entire Gargoyles line so far. Fantastic line. Absolutely love seeing them all together. The next one to come out is Lexington. Mine is already shipped. I should get them tomorrow. We've also seen another version of the video game Goliath. That's in a very large bundle. If you want to buy this expensive bundle with a remastered Sega Gargoyles game. We also know Coldstone is coming. I'd like to think he's going to be next, but honestly, I think it's going to be the Broadway with trench coat. There's also a Goliath and Demona 2 pack. There have been strong hints at Macbeth, and then possibly Jason Canmore the Hunter. And there are so many more things I want from this line, but right now with this Xanatos, I really want an Owen figure to go with him, stone arm and all. I would love him to compare him to some other Jonathan Frakes figures. They've made plenty. William T. Riker from Star Trek The Next Generation and those movies. Unfortunately, I don't seem to have any. I thought I had a crappy Riker figure from First Contact, but if I do, I can't find him. Now let's check him out. Next is some action figures from different various companies, so we can see how he fits in, both scale and style-wise, in case you don't know which lines you can mix him with. Since he's a NECA figure, they're typically the 7-inch scale. I'm going to start off my comparisons with some of the larger action figure lines I collect and work way smaller. But first, let's check him out with some of his NECA brothers. In front of you are five different extra lines, all from NECA toys, all 7 inch scale, then with even more NECA figures, and now with some Jack specific wrestling figures. Here's Xanatos, next to a container of popcorn, and here he is, next to some DST or Diamond Select toys. 
then with some McFarlane toys. And here he is, standing with some DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. Then with some Mattel wrestling figures. And now with some Jazzwares AEW wrestlers. And here he is, next to some Mexico 112 collective figures. Then with some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse figures. And here he is, with some Mafex figures. Then with some Hasbro Marvel Legends. And here he is, next to some SH figure art section figures. And finally, with some Jazz Wars Fortnite figures. So overall, this figure is fantastic. He is arguably the main villain in the entire Gargoyle season. The entire series. He sort of becomes an ally in season three, but that's a story for another day. The figure looks great. His articulation is good. Sure, he doesn't have double jointed knees, but he doesn't really need them. His accessories are amazing. A ton of stuff to enhance your other figures. If I had to rate this guy, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Love the Gargoyles line. Love the Gargoyles cartoon. Love this figure. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.